you know, the paradigm for moving to 100% renewables, like, you know, if you talk about solar, we're going to produce twice as much as we need during daytime, store that energy, and then we have it after sunset and until sunrise of the next day. To make that paradigm work, we need to have massive amounts of, of energy storage. The, the second problem is our grid, can it handle it? If we could have energy storage located on the demand side, we can basically catch two birds in one stone, right? We can have capacity to store energy, plus we can lower the demand at the same time. And when you look on the demand side, the biggest user of electricity is air conditioning. water battery, which was called the ice brick. They are compact, modular, and you can tuck them in different places and different configurations to basically use free space or space that you don't need. We have a special technology that allows to create the ice uh, very efficiently uh, with some ingredients that added to the water that makes the water freeze quicker. Now that ice uh, can sit there for hours, can sit there for days, but usually it would be just for hours. And then when we want to discharge, Basically, we take those water of the building that circulate throughout the building, we run them through our system, and then it's cooled by the ice. And we don't need electricity in order to cool the water. We can just cool it with the ice as it melts. There's no water waste. You just fill it once, and then 25 years later, you can use it to water your plants if you want. There's a significant financial gain, so you can lower your energy costs. And the good news is that those the, the price differential corresponds to the carbon differential. So when the uh, power is least expensive, it also has the lower carbon footprint. Look, you know, there's 250,000 buildings in the country. You're talking about, okay, the future for air conditioning. Uh, like I said, if one building is 200 tons of, of uh, carbon per year, you know, multiply by 250,000, that this is your carbon savings, you know, from uh, uh, the impact of, of, of this kind of uh, technologies.